In this video we will have a quick introduction to the widget manager. Existing users of Axure are familiar with the dynamic panel manager. In version 7 this has been extended to include all objects and has a new moniker, widget manager. This is great, it's more akin to Photoshop and means we now have a visual representation of all the objects layered in Axure instead of having to conceptualize it. First, for beginners, dynamic panels. Dynamic panels are the way of creating and managing interactive objects which have a number of different but similar states. A slideshow is a typical design pattern that you will use a dynamic panel for. You can create a widget or collection of widgets and select them and turn them into a dynamic panel with a right click. Then add new states as required. But as I mentioned earlier, it's often better to sketch out your dynamic panels first before you go in and build because unpicking a complex dynamic panel can be painful. A note for existing users. Previously, you had to convert objects to a dynamic panel before you could do show hide interactions. This is no longer the case. Dynamic panels are now only necessary when you want to be able to manage different states for an object. This makes things a little easier for management. As we saw earlier, the widget manager has a filter, which is new. Uh, so we can filter it to just show dynamic panels uh, as it did in version 6.5. Um, more coming on this. There we go. We now know our way around the user interface. We also know the difference between a breakaway master and a widget library. Next, we are going to start looking at the building blocks of wireframes, widgets, and masters.